Copper is a natural uh, concept for us. Um, we came up with the concept and the idea and, and for us it was that kind of a local Bozeman place, you know, somewhere people can come and hang out. We wanted it super relaxed, you know, where you just felt comfortable um, sitting down there and then the, the whiskey kind of snowballed into what it is. I mean, we have over 150 whiskeys, you know, we, we do our happy hour with anything distilled or brewed in the state of Montana. Um, we like to push local products. Um, we like to push the, the local breweries and local distilleries. So we're, we're happy to support those Montana distilled products. Um, and, and then brewed beers, I mean, 14 beers on tap and uh, 13 of them are, are from the state of Montana. And that's pretty cool that we have such a great culture uh, brewing beers. Uh, right now that's, that's huge. As far as what we went through to open copper, it was the hardest. <laughs> the hardest, <laughs> especially the last about two weeks, was a, was a challenge that um, at, at times seemed insurmountable. We hired, we hired some great people uh, to help us get, get open. Um, our chef and our sous chef that are still with us uh, were integral in, in opening a kitchen that was a disaster. None of the equipment worked. Um, we, <laughs> We opened Copper on a, uh, our soft opening was on a Friday, and they weren't functioning in the kitchen until Thursday night at about 8 o'clock. Uh, amazing what they did. Um, they're great, amazing individuals that just pulled the rabbit out of their hat. That's a big part of, of why we were successful, I think, uh, Copper and our staff. Um, we, we really focused, especially where we came from and the places we worked. Um, with the, the bigger companies where you wear a uniform and things like that. We don't do that, we don't do that for a reason. Uh, we want our staff to shine. We want their personalities to come out when they come to your table and talk to you. We want that person to be there. I think for a big part for us, we kind of, we work from the heart. Um, the two of us make decisions. You know, if something's not going right, we don't take a month to figure it out and go through. We sit down, we hash it out right away and we fix it. Um, it's something that we're pretty adamant about listening to. Listening to everybody. Yeah. You know. Listen to your employees. They, they, they have their their finger on the pulse. Um, they know if, if there's a problem with with a table or a, or a policy that we have, they can come to us and, and we'll fix it right away. Um, so we're really really proactive um, in that aspect. Um, and then going back to what John was talking about before, what makes us different is the, is the people that we work for that that work for us. I I think um, they're. It's a lot of hardworking kids um, that are going to school, and a lot, of, a lot of, a lot of people that have made food their passion. When we got into copper, it was all right. This is it. Like, let's get our own business. We'll, we'll run this restaurant. We'll do it. And, and I think we got to that first year, and we put up. Uh, this summer was. We always made a joke. All right, summer will come. We have a whiskey bar in the basement. We'll take our vacation then. It'll slow down for a couple months, but it'll be. And uh, this summer, we actually were up about 35, 40 percent from what we did last summer. Um, and it was mind blowing for us that we were running, putting up huge numbers this summer. And so it was something that kind of, I think, got us both going that, all right, this isn't it. We can yeah. do this and we can do another one. Um, once again, our, our business partners um, kind of, they've been good at pushing into, all right, we found this other spot. Let's all go take a look at it and think about it. And so that's where we jumped on the, the new location out there on the west side, um, Red Share. We're going to open up a whole different concept out there. Um, stick with the local theme that we've been doing um, and, and really focus that direction but I think in terms of us the world's oyster like we're, we're not going to stop here. I've, there's numerous people you always want to thank going through that get you to a certain point but, but really for me it comes down to one of the biggest ones is Jay. Uh, without him we wouldn't be where we're at. Like, the two of us kind of met same idea and, and took off with it. Um, I look back now especially trying to do another one and it's, it's go off on your own it's pretty hard but you got a partner right there that's working with you through it all is is absolutely huge um, kind of touched on it before but then we roll into our parents I mean without them I wouldn't be where I'm at um, they help in such a business aspect and then just from support as well so deeply deeply grateful to them of course I'll, I'll thank John as well uh, the hardest working guy I've ever met um, aside from maybe my own father <laughs> but uh, John works his tail off, uh, and I appreciate that. Uh, he uh, he's a real rock. Uh, somebody that his passion is is, is unmatched. Um, and then you go into my friends and family, uh, mentors that, that have got me to where I am. Too many names to mention, um, but then mom and dad. 
I mean, I, I've been one lucky kid. Um, the love that they've always given me, the support. Um, I love my folks, uh, and they're always there for me.